क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन से इज वन एटोमिक मास यूनिट इज इक्वल टू डियर स्टूडेंट्स वन एटोमिक मास यूनिट और वन ए एम यू इज इक्वल टू वन बाय ट्वेल्थ ऑफ द मास ऑफ वन सी ट्वेल्व कार्बन एटम दिस इज अ फेयरली थियोरिटिकल क्वेश्चन If we analyze all the four options, we can see the only option which matches the perfect definition of one AMU is option number three, which says that it is one by twelfth of mass of one carbon twelve atom. Now, dear students, now let us proceed to the question number twenty-two. Question number twenty-two says a nucleus at rest splits into two nuclei, which move with speeds v and twenty-seven v. The ratio of the radii of two nuclei will be respectively. Dear students, in such a case, the conservation of momentum holds true. We can write that m1 into v should be equal to m2 into 27 v, where m1 and m2 are the masses of the daughter nuclei. And v and 27 v are the speeds as given in the question. Dear students, please note that we have written down the magnitudes of these momentums and we have equated them. In essence, these momentum would be opposite in direction and they would vectorially add up to give us zero resultant, as the initial linear momentum of the nucleus is zero as given in the question. From this expression, we can write that m1. By m2 is equal to 27. If the density of the daughter nuclei is d, we must also know that the density would be same for both the nuclei. We can write down that d into 4 by 3 pi r1 cube divided by d into 4 by 3 pi r2 cube would be equal to 27. Here r1 and r2 are the radii of the nucleus. Dear students, from this expression we can get that R1 by R2 would be equal to 3 by 1, and hence the correct answer for this particular question is option number one. Now let us proceed to the next question, which is question number 23. Question number 23 says the binding energy per nucleon for 1H1, 1H3, and 2H4 are A, B, and C respectively. The energy released in hypothetical nuclear reaction, 1H1 plus 1H3 gives 2HE4 plus energy is. Dear students, the energy of 1H1 would be equal to A. The energy of 1H3 would be equal to 3B, because in this 1H3 the number of nucleons are three. Similarly, the energy of 2HE4 would be 4C. Dear students. We can write down the energy released to be equal to energy of product that is 2HE4 minus energy of the reactants that is energy of 1H1 plus energy of 1H3 that will be equal to 4C minus A plus 3B which will be equal to 4C minus A minus 3B. And hence the correct answer for this particular question is option number two. Now, dear students, let us proceed to the next question of the test, which is question number twenty-four. Question number twenty-four says, if mass of a radioactive sample is increased, the activity of the sample and decay constant of the sample respectively will. Dear students, as the mass of the sample increases, the number of nuclei. Also increase. Now, dear students, this means that since the number of nuclei increase as well, the activity would also increase as the activity dA by dt, if a is the number of nuclei, is proportional to the existing number of nuclei. Dear students, the decay constant is property of the element, and it does not depend on the mass of the element in the sample. Which means that the correct answer for this particular question should be that the activity increases while the decay constant remains same, and hence the correct answer for this particular question 
should be option number 3. Now dear students, let us proceed to the further question which is question number 25. Dear students, question number 25 says at a given instant there are 50% undecayed radioactive nuclei. After another 40 seconds, the number of undecayed nuclei reduces to 3.125%. The mean life of radioactive element is. Dear students, as per the question, let us assume that our observation starts from the point where the number of radioactive nuclei are 50%. If the initial number of nuclei are n0, then our starting nuclei are n0 by 2. Let us write down this as n0 dash. Now, dear students, after 40 seconds, the number of remaining nuclei are n0 into 3.125 by 100 that is 3.125 percent which will be equal to n0 by 32. Dear students let us assume that in these 40 seconds n number of half lives pass. We can write down that n0 by 32 will be n0 dash into half to the power n. We can also write this as n0 by 32 will be equal to n0 by 2 into half to the power n. On solving this expression, we get n to be equal to 4. And hence in 40 seconds, 4 half-lives pass, which means that one half-life has a value of 40 by 4, which is equal to 10 seconds. Dear students, the mean life is equal to 1.414 into half-life. On substituting the value of half-life, we get that the mean life is equal to 14.14 seconds. And hence the correct answer for this particular question is option number 1. Now dear students, let us proceed to the next question which is question number 26. 